So we're going to have a look at how to operate uh, two or more MyFocuser Pro 2 focuses at the same time. And uh, potentially we can operate up to four focuses all at the same time from a single computer. Underneath Windows, you can use two focuses at a time. And underneath SCOM, there are two focuses that can be controlled at any one time because we've got two SCOM drivers. Each focuser will appear on its own unique COM port and each focuser retains its own settings. So we have a, uh, what's the software that we have? We've got a Windows application which can control one focuser at a time. We've got a Windows Mini application, again, can control one focuser, and we've got two SCOM drivers. So potentially we can operate four um, focuses at any one time. The SCOM app can be used to control only one focuser because it uses a single SCOM driver. Now the Windows applications and the SCOM drivers you cannot run multiple instances because when the program starts, it creates a setting file. That setting file remembers the focus of settings um, each time you run it. And if you were to run it with a different focuser all the time, then you'd be in big trouble. So what we try to do is we try to associate a specific focuser with a specific driver or a specific Windows application. And we don't try to swap and change them because remember, the focus of settings are also saved in the Windows application or ASCOM driver. And if you were to change the controller, then of course it may have different settings and uh, things could potentially go horribly wrong. So for example, here we've got uh, four different focus controllers all controlling different things on different mounts. And each of them controlled separately by um, uh, either a Windows application or mini application or an SCOM driver. So in this demo, we're going to use a Windows application to control the first focus, which is actually an, an imaging camera. And the second focus is on the guide scope, and we use the Windows mini application to control that. And the guide scope one is on COM3, the imaging camera on COM5. So let's have a look at uh, uh, the imaging camera first. So I've got my Focus Pro 2 here. I've got to COM5, and let's just go connect. And it's connected to a uh, DRV8825, RB203, running version 263. And it's got the position and the max steps. And let's now switch over to the uh, mini app, which is over here. And um, it's on COM3. So we'll connect to that. And we should obviously expect different settings here, which it is. So it's uh, relatively in focus now. Um, if I go back over to here, let's go um, out, say, 500 steps. And you can see now I've gone out 500 steps. Let's go on this one here um, in a number of steps. So there we go, one step. Let's go 10 steps. Let's go another one. So you can see that I'm controlling both focuses independently. So there's no problem at all there. Okay, so now we'll control one focuser using a Windows app. Uh, the guide scope for example and we'll use ASCOM driver with our ASCOM client called APT to control the main imaging camera so let's start up the Windows application first and we want to connect to COM3 and let's connect there and it's come back and it's remembered whereabouts I am and of course we can go in uh, sorry go out and so on and now we want to go over to APT and we go into gear. And we want to bring up the settings dialog. And we're on COM5 because this is going to be our imaging uh, 
one we can do all the extra settings and so on we'll go connect and uh, we're already connected and it says here position of 971 so that's that's the DRV8825 and of course I can then control the position of the focus so you can see that it's moving it's moved 936 if I go back to my focus of pro you can see none of this has changed so I'm actually controlling two different focuses one via Windows app uh, which is my guide scope and an APT here I'm controlling the main imaging camera uh, using ASCOM so it's pretty easy to set up and control your focuses using either Windows applications or ASCOM drivers.